Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and I'm gonna be sharing with you my sewing plans for March. So I gotta be honest with you. I don't like to share sewing plans because I feel like sometimes they don't go as planned. But I feel like this is something you guys may wanna see. So I'm gonna be sharing with you not only the patterns, if I know which pattern but also the fabric that i'm going to be using and as you can see i have a little bit of like a color story going on here not deliberately but it's a thing i don't hate it you know we're going with it we're doing it um so to be honest with you i've already started on one of my march makes because i was supposed to go out of town well i did go out of town but i was supposed to have like a couple of these things ready to share with you guys this week but then i have like a nasty headache for two and a half days and no one's in the mood to sew with a nasty headache so here we are um but i will show you a little bit of it if you can even make out what it is but this is the lola tank dress um by stay stitch patterns Lindsay and candace and um i started working on this i love the way it looks i just want it to be a little tight so I um, have to work on getting it more fitted and snug to my body. And then I'll share it with you guys. All right, so the other thing I wanna work on as well. Oh, and before I move on to the next thing, I am sewing a lot of patterns that either have like a sewing tutorial already attached to it, um, or there's just a lot of information out there about it. And so instead of doing another sewing tutorial for something that already exists, I'm thinking maybe I do a, a weekly sewing vlog for the month of March and I just share with you like my sewing projects and you get to watch my process, you know, for the month or for that week. Let me know what you think about that series. Let me know in the comments. I would really like to explore that um, just to kind of see where that goes and where my creativity takes me. So anyway, let me get into this next project. So the next thing I want to do is... Now, if you remember from my last, um, my last fabric haul, excuse me, <laughs> um, I bought this fabric on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I'm thinking I want to make the jacket out of this and I've already gotten my notions for it. Um, I've already gotten my notions for it. So you actually need like a seven inch zipper, which I picked up at Joann's and then it also calls for Oh gosh y'all where is it it calls for the elastic cord and the cord stoppers y'all are gonna laugh when you see this so I was like up late on Amazon and I was like I was like there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to find the elastic cord and the cord stopper at a local store here I gotta go on Amazon so y'all I have like 50 cord stoppers <laughs> and like 10 yards of cord elastic if you need some just let me know <laughs> i can help you <laughs> but also this is like ten dollars um but seriously though we are a sewing community if you need some um all i ask is that you pay for the postage i got you i'll send some i'll send some over to you for this project or for any cord stop project that you need i got you <laughs> Okay, so the next thing on my list is um, this ditzy floral knit, which I also bought last month at Hobby Lobby. I said I would make a turtleneck out of it. I'm sticking to that plan. I think it'll be really, really cute, um, especially like underneath something like the, um, the jacket that I just showed you that I want to make. So I'm excited for that quick project. Okay, so this next fabric I actually got when I was in Vancouver, Canada at a store called Dresso, which is like their version of Mood. I loved it when I was there. Like if I could have bought everything I would have, plus they had like a plethora of Tilio. Anyway, let me refocus. So I picked up this like checkered linen and the whole time I was thinking like, I wanna make a button down out of this. I think it'll be really great for spring. So I have 
this pattern. It's an oldie but a goodie. I think you can still find it in the drawer at Joann's. And I wanna do, I don't think I wanna do any of the backless ones. I'm not that brave, but I wanna do the button down. Just like a basic button down. I'm kind of overdue for a button down anyway to wear to Zooms. I can't keep wearing the same one that I wear all the time. So this will be a nice update for me. So I did pick up some stretch denim. It's about three yards. Um, it's this light blue color. I do want to make some jeans out of it. Not quite sure which pattern I want to use yet, but um, definitely want to use this to make a pair of jeans. I also picked up this uh, fabric here from Hobby Lobby. Um, I really want to make a blazer out of this. Again, not really sure which blazer pattern I want to do. But I am, I do want to do like this gingham lining on the inside. I think that'll be like a nice light spring touch. So we're going to do that as well. The other thing is something that I actually started last year and I've been putting off and putting off and putting off. Um, and so this is, this is like the only completed part of the project. This is the Blanca flight suit. Um, and as you can see, the bumblebee, like the one on my shirt, it's from like the same pack I bought at the store. And so, um, yeah, I got to finish this because I can definitely wear this someplace in spring and I'm wasting, I'm wasting my time. And then, um, I did use this really, really cute lining fabric. Uh, this is from Mood. I bought this years ago, like in 2020 at this point. And, um... I just, I wanna use it uh, throughout the lining pieces and the pocket pieces of this uh, pattern and whatnot. I have like a yard of this lining fabric, so I definitely wanna continue to use it. But yes, a goal of mine is to get this completed this month. We'll see, fingers crossed. So with this fabric, I'm definitely planning to make another hoodie out of this. Kind of obsessed with hoodies now, just saying. So if I have time, big if, 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 if I have time, I want to make a nice pretty maxi dress out of this. I'm torn between two patterns and I'm just going to let it play out, play out in my head because I don't, <laughs> I don't want someone to be like, oh, you should do that pattern. Nope. I, I'm just going to let it play out in my head. I, I don't know which pattern it is. I have two in mind. That's all I'm say. I got this fabric from... This is Tilio, but it is, it was from fabric.com, but I know that it was at Dresso when I was there because I liked it at Dresso, saw it in, with my own eyes, and then I said, okay, I'm gonna go home and buy it on fabric.com. But I say all that to say that this is Tilio fabric. It's like a, probably like a viscose almost. So it'll be like a nice dress dress weight um again i don't know what that dress is i know i want it to be a maxi dress because i want to maximize this leopard okay sorry I'll, I'll scale it back all right so this next fabric i got back in october from melanated fabrics when i was in atlanta for atlanta frock tails and this is two and a half yards of this rayon chalet um blush is just my color like if I see blush fabric, I gravitate towards it so quick. It's, it's insane. So I like this with view A and maybe like extend the dress out a little bit more. I don't know. I got to see what my obliques are looking like before I do this. But if my obliques are satisfying to me, I will make this dress. That's all I'm saying. This next fabric I actually got off of Etsy. I have always been in love with Atelier Brunette fabric. Um, it is very hard to find it in the States. And when you find it outside of the States, they um, it's very expensive to ship over. I found this on Etsy from a US shop and it still was kind of expensive, but it's also supposed to be really good quality fabric. But the shipping wasn't an arm and a leg. And so I'm not mad about it, but I got, I think it's, two and a half yards of this and I might change my mind but I'm thinking I want to make this dress view D with this 
I might change my mind. I don't know. If you think of something different or you think I should do something different with it, let me know in the comments. I think that's it for my March sewing plans. If you uh, want to follow along and see weekly updates from all of these projects or watch sewing vlogs for all of these projects, let me know in the comments. I'll try to make that happen for you all. But um, fingers crossed that I can get all this done. See y'all next time. Bye.